What do we got today? The Trump bump. The Trump bump. Ooh, Trump bump. What's the Trump bump? So you're watching the um, latest with the Iran uh, nuclear deal. Right? Nice title, right? The Iran nuclear deal. That's what that's all about. So let's uh, let's break this down. I, I hesitated a little bit to talk about it, but I, I think I have a little bit of clarity on what's going on. So I'll share that. Um, so so the, the, the United States has a deal with Iran to prevent Iran from getting a nuclear weapon, developing, enriching uranium and such, right? And this is was all in place with five other powers, France, Germany, England, and Russia, right? So they have a deal with Iran to, if Iran will not produce, uh, will not enrich uranium and not create nuclear-grade uranium for nuclear weapons, right? They can, they can do it for medicine and other things, but not for, for power plants, but not to highly enrich it to create bombs, right? So in exchange for that, Iran agrees to do that and then not, uh, and then the sanctions that they can trade freely and, and get, uh, you know, and have their economies prosper uh, through, through corporate, you know, people selling, buying and selling, right? So Trump decides to pull out of that deal. Why? Why did Trump pull out of that deal? Why did Trump pull out of the deal? Right? Because it's because... So if, you know, and who is he siding with? Who's, who, likes, who likes this deal? Who likes the fact that Trump's pulling out and who doesn't? Let's look at that first. Israel. Ah, pull out. Oh, stab stab uh, Iran in the back. <coughs> they love that. And uh, who else? Saudi Arabia. Ah, the most hostile funder of terrorism on the, on the face of the planet, right? Trump. I thought Trump was in one insurgency wars. I thought Trump was all about, you know, homeland security and shit. Uh, right. Okay. So so why did why did they do it? Why did why did Trump pull out of the Iran deal? Now, I've always said this it wasn't hard to figure out. I've always said that the answers lie in the stock market. Right? There's no, there's no doubt about this. Now, Rex Tillerson, remember that name? Rex Tillerson? He was Trump's initial pick for uh, Secretary of State, right? He was the Secretary of State. He was the CEO for Exxon Mobil, right? He's an he's a oil and gas expert. Guy knows, these guys know everything about oil and gas. They know everything about import, export, how to suck it out of the ground, how to stick it in a car, how to stick it in an oven, whatever. They know everything about fossil fuel. They're, they're you know, and they, 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 they work billion, they work millions and millions of dollars. So, so Trump, Spent a year and you know talking to this guy and he's you know Trump's now educated on Trump is an oil and gas billionaire Trump is a is an opportunist right There's no other reason for this They're not doing it to de if you want to de escalate nuclear weapons right Why not keep the, keep the deal in place And why are you siding with Israel? Who has a hundred hydrogen bombs in their pocket, right? It, it's just it's just ridiculous. It's a ridiculous idea to think that there's some sort of, you know, the, the kooky right is now going to say, oh, they saw, you know, the the Iranian uh, the Iranian uh, uh, parliament screaming, kill America, death to America. Yeah, well, you just fucked them in the, you know, fucked them in the ass, right? You just you just stuck a knife in their back, right? You had a deal. And now the country's prospering, right? And where are they prospering from? Ah, now the answer, right? Well, what's, what's this really about, right? I ran $250 billion, billion dollars, billion dollars with a B in, in, uh, in oil revenue comes out of the ground, right? So that's what this is about, right? You saw, see this, and where, where, how do you tell, right? It's, oil prices are now going up, right? Because... $250 billion worth of oil from Iran is now going to have a twist, right? <coughs> right? See, this is, this is transfer of wealth, right? Everybody who thinks that, why are the Republicans, why are the Democrats screaming Russia, 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 and, and trying to derail Trump? Because the Democrats represent this handful of scumbag donors, and Trump represents this handful of scumbag donors billionaire donors, right? 
they're just they're just two sides of the same coin. They're just opposite sides of the same coin, right? And it, it's this is this is like you know they're fighting over the over who gets the money, who profits, and who are those profiteers? It's, well, companies like you know Exxon Mobil and uh, Chevron and Boeing, right? Boeing just claims that they're going to lose twenty five billion. Well. We'll see about that, right? But so there's the transfer right there. So now they now he's, they create a, a, a war within within the market. See, it's a billionaire, you know, fuck fest. That's what this is, right? This doesn't none of these profits and none of these these moves have anything whatsoever to do with prosperity at home because there is no trickle down economics. We know that if Exxon Mobil stock goes through the roof. And they they gain they get some of that two hundred fifty billion dollars. That doesn't hit the the real. That doesn't hit the U.S. economy. That goes offshore and and sits in a you know in a tax free haven. And 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 American people get fucked again. You know we support it. We 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 back it. It's you know and and uh, we're we're left holding the bag. And what do they do? They run a video of of Iranian parliament you know saying kill America. Yeah, well you know. That that's what happens when you when you take a deal off the table, right? They have a deal, you know. All right. So I'm not. I, look, I'm not. I'm not defending. I, there's there's a, there's other aspects of the problem, right? Right. But that's but that's what's going on right here. This is not about. This is the, Iran is in complete compliance with a with a with a treaty, right? Right. And they're 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 looking down the barrel of a gun. The U.S., Israel, Saudi Arabia, right? The, Russia on the other side, right? So there's no way that they're going to develop a bomb anyway because the second they do it, Israel is going to throw one at them and level the place, right? Or something like that, right? So Iran is not a, a, a nuclear threat, but that $250 billion, right? Oh. So that's what's called a Trump bump, right? It's a Trump bump for billionaires, right? On Wall Street. They love it. They're like, see, this is this is what's called this is what America American people don't understand about the, the markets, that this is called insider trading, right? This this whole shit was all planned, right? They know what the you know, Trump is no jerk. He's he's a he's a trader. He's a he's a Wall Street guy. He's a he's a he's an oil guy, a profiteer, right? And they know that positioning that these these types of decisions have Un- incredible power over the markets because it's it 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 dictates um, you know government uh, direction right what how is the U.S. government going to act in this case right and then that's how the corporations are going to profit right but people don't profit anymore this is all this is all as I say billionaire chess it has nothing to do it hurts us. Right. Because the focus is over there. I thought Trump was going to build infrastructure and he's going to, you know, he's going to get a health care for everybody. And he's going to he's going to fi- fix all the problems. He's going to. It's bullshit. All right. We're right back where we started from. All right. We're worse because Trump, again, transfer of wealth. Right. Obama and the Clintons and the, and all those jerk offs are taking money from one direction. Soros they are taking that that kind of. That liberal, the, the loony liberal money, right? They're taking that money, but and then and then Trump's cut out of that equation. So what do the Democrats do? They attack him, and now Trump is is fighting back. They're, they're knocking out Schneiderman. You, <laughs> they they got two more women lining up against Schneiderman. They're going after uh, Stormy Daniels as attorney. Trump is a, is a player, right? They're gonna uh, eventually uh, look in 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 three years time, four uh, you know two uh, another year or two, right? Trump is going to win the, the the propaganda war against the Democrats. He's going to win because that's his game, right? But it doesn't it it the bigger picture is that nobody the American people don't profit from this. It's a it's a switch in power. It's a it's a transfer of wealth. Just like all the wealth went from the middle class to the wealthy, the top 1% now it's a fight between the 1%. They're fighting over who gets the, the lion's share of the wealth. So the billionaires through the Iran, uh, through the, the U.S. tax tax breaks for the, for the corporations from 34% down to 20% uh, that they don't pay anyway because they all have, ta- they have tax havens and they don't pay the money anyway. So this is just another uh, Trump bump in the market for oil and gas industry 
and anyone who profits from that that now locked up two hundred and fifty billion dollars from Iran. And who, who suffers? The Iranian people are going to suffer from this. You'll see uh, uh, American people are going to suffer. You're going to see prices. When crude oil goes up, when, when, when crude oil starts to trade up, the corporations, you know, ExxonMobil and the traders and OPEC, they make money. But who pays for it? You do. The consumer. So expect, um, I, don't, I don't drive, so I don't know what <laughs> the price of gas is, but you'll see it. It'll start to creep up over the next year. Six months a year, it'll, it'll, you know. What what do we see uh, at its high? Like four or five dollar gas a, a gallon. I'm not predicting that it'll go that high, but you'll you will see increases in uh, uh, gas and oil prices, and um, that's why I'm running for 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 Senate. That's why I'm doing this. You know, it's like this is this is easy. I mean, this is this is this is not this is not a hard one to figure out why. Why Trump is pulling out of the Iran deal and 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 now, I thought he was you know I thought he was uninterventionist, but here we go again you know. My name is Marcus Conti, YouTube blogger, candidate for the United States Senate. Peace.